just happened? What is this sim? Get nuked, man. Excuse me? Oh, uh, sorry. That's the name of the sim. Now that scene totally remind me of Fallout 3. Because yes, I did nuke Megaton. Screw Megaton. Get nuked? That's a bit... A bit on the nose, but it does what it says on the wrapper. That's what people come here to do. Get nuked. I think I've had enough explosions for one week. Do I have to get rid of you guys as well? Aw, oh, goddammit. I didn't even notice you guys. I thought the get nuked thing was just exit for Gravball. So, what's it about? The whole history of atomic warfare, baby! If you can think of a time where they've dropped the bomb, this sim gives you the chance to experience it. Wow, I've seen people make some pretty weird stuff in the trance. I guess I'm not in a position to judge. Darn straight. Besides, it's not just historical interest, it's for fun. With online map data, you can set it to nuke anywhere in the world. So, what's the aim? Can someone win? It's not a game, it's a simulation. Though sometimes we try to choose scenarios and see who can get the higher body count. Huh. I'm winning at the moment. Sarbamba, New Delhi, 2027. I thought you just said it wasn't a game. Not all the time. So where are we? The beach? Siege of Singapore, 12 years ago. Smack bang in the middle of the Timuhani War. Huh? The most deadly atomic conflict in history, babe. China, Pakistan, and India- Uh, you, you're not from around there, are you? Why do you say that? Well, you kinda look- I could be a bald man in my 50s for all you know. Just thought I'd check. Don't bite my head off. You might have lost family in it. I have no idea where I'm from. Refugee raised in Newton. Oh yeah! <laughs> we nicked them last week as well. What are your favorites? My top five? Castle Bravo, Hiroshima, Singapore, New Delhi, and Vegas. Some Zift came in earlier, wanted Nagasaki. <laughs> Would you believe? I'm all like, they already did Japan three days earlier. Get some originality, man. Can we have a go at flattening Newton? I'm in the mood to take it out on the city. Sorry, babe. The server's only running the shareware version. I'm afraid Singapore's all we get. Why are you here, then? You sound like an enthusiast. Yeah, but Leon, the guy who runs this place, he lets me admin it. I'm in charge of all things atomic in this server. Okay. Sweet deal, bro. Is there any way to change the settings? Singapore's the only map we've got in this version. Only thing you could do is tweak the bomb, really. And the user mortality setup, too. Is there any way to change the settings? Singapore's the only map we've gotten. Only and the I'm Mandela. Fearless Phil. Him over there is Vomitor. I help Leon out by running his nuke server for him. Are you in the cellar? The den? Oof. Meat space questions. We've only just met! I'm running an open line from home. My mom doesn't like it when I go to I mean, I've got my own specialized setup at my place. Yeah, in the basement of my mom's house. This is horrifying. Hundreds of thousands of people died in Singapore when this happened. I don't like to judge, but this is just so disrespectful to them. Nah, it's all cool. Every copy of this they sell, they donate 25% to war survivors. But you're using the shareware version. What's your point? You're not donating anything. <laughs> That's my point. I was just wondering, would you be able to disconnect? I can't really tell you why, but it's really important. Say what? I can't leave now. I've got the nuke server to look after. Maybe if you go and you next get killed by the blast or the fallout? Hey, if mortality was on, we'd all have been wasted by that last one. While god mode is on, nothing can kill us. Okay, so I just have to turn on mortality and get you guys to fuck off. I was just wondering- I see, I've got the- Maybe if you- Hey, well go- That's quite an outfit you've got. You like it? Classic post-nuke apocalypse chic. You know, there are places in the world that have really suffered nuclear attacks. I don't think anyone dresses like that there. My style comes from the oldies. It's post-retro. Like, from before there were any of the big atomic conflicts. So, movies and games rather than actual nuclear catastrophes? Exactly. The real survivors are so downbeat, aren't they? They take all the fun out of atomic warfare. What is wrong with you? They take all the fun out of a. Oh, I don't even like these. Apparently, post-apocalyptic biker was this guy's first style of choice. You are uh, made uncomfortable by the way he leers at you when he thinks you're not looking. Gross. That's odd. 
This rock is a steel panel bolted onto its side. So that's probably one of where I uh, tweak the settings, but I want to talk to Vomitor. Hi there. I wonder if he's ignoring me, or whether he just doesn't know I'm here. Trance does funny things to people's perceptions sometimes. The participant stares transfixed into the ruins of the city on the horizon, as though hypnotized by the assault on the senses that is atomic war. Okay, time to make us die. I can't pull it off by hand. I'm going to need a way through if I want to find out what's underneath. Oh, okay. Maybe this will dissolve it? It's made a mess, but it hasn't helped get the panel open. Do I need some more? Um, can you give me some acid rain? What can you make of these? Well, they got the formulas in here. You sure got some interesting taste in here. I know. Missy. Howdy there, miss. So I would like some acid. I'm feeling adventurous. Sulfuric acid, please. Coming right up. Don't spill that now. Like it would affect this digital world? Alrighty. Now let's let's melt this thing. The acid's even right through the panel cover. It's good that physics laws still work in some places in the trans. Apparently the controls for the simulation were kept under the panel to prevent tampering by nosy hackers such as myself. <laughs> Get nuked. Uh, Siege of Singapore. Singapore. God mode off. Hiroshima classics. But it seems like I have other other things. Davy Crockett. I seem to have other maps. Unable to load. Okay. Yeah, because this is the just the shareware. So Singapore it is. What a <laughs> what a horrible horrible sim simulator. But I guess for historical purposes it's nice. But just to do it so you can get the highest mortality rate, it's kind of awful. Okay. Here we go. Let's do it again. Ouch. Does that hurt in real life? Interesting. Okay, so I got most of the people out. I still have to get the uh, the three fucking dancers out, and I can't figure it out. Come on, power. I found an antenna. Hello? Is What's anyone the there? For? Visitors from out of town. Users connecting from other countries to the Transdense network? Newton's a bit funny about who gets to log on sometimes. So you figured you'd give them a hand by connecting them from abroad? Exactly. Foreigners pay better. Repent. So that's how and I'm gonna get them to disconnect. Oh, for fuck's sake, I've been looking Hello? for like Is ten minutes there? for the something. Goodbye, crazy people. That must be it. Please. Guess that proves where they were from. Thank God. Oh, that took me... I'll be honest, that took me way, way longer to find. I should have inspected my surroundings a lot better. Do I have to get rid of the bartender as well? Mm, I don't know. I'm gonna save. Okay, Jensil. Now we can finally, finally talk. Everybody should be out. How is your progress? It's just you and me. Server's empty. We're alone. Excellent. I feel much safer. You going to tell me what's going on now? I shall. But first, tell me. Why do you enjoy the trance? Um, people, comprehension, potential, no idea. Why are you asking? Potential. There's so much that can be done with it. A world we've built for ourselves. Where the old laws, even physics, aren't necessary. We've had the net for a century. And we've still barely scratched the surface. I want to shape my future and be a part of something bigger. That's what the trance is for. I suppose you could say you were born for this? It feels like it. Sometimes. Mandala, we've been taking scans of your connection. We have never seen a sync ratio as high as yours. The trance is literally where you belong. We need your assistance. Go on. You need my help? What can I do? More than you realize, inshallah. The reason you were targeted is linked to your unusual natural affinity with the trends. They want to kill me because my connection's too fast? 
not directly. It goes deeper than that, to the very structure of your brain. Do you recall what Guy was doing in that cell you shared with him? Guy. Guy. Uh, kind of. Yeah, he was your relay, wasn't he? You were connecting to cell systems through him? Precisely. He was a vital part of the operation. But thanks to the psychophage, he is indisposed to us. Let me guess. You want me to be a relay for you with a sync ratio like yours? The bandwidth would be incredible. Your hackers would be running petabytes through my wiring. But you'd need me to get close, right? To the systems of the people trying to kill me? Um, this sounds like a bad idea. I'll do it. This kind of sounds like a bad idea, but... Mm. Excuse me if I sound a little skeptical. But you're asking me to walk up to the people trying to kill me? You haven't even given me a good explanation for why they're after me! I'm sorry, but we don't know a great deal more than you. We need your assistance. Your unique talent with the trance makes you valuable. They hunt you because of it. Turn it against them. So, this will help you discover their plans? <sighs> Fine. What do you need me to do? Shukran Mandala. Justice shall be done. They operate from an old Aerostat terminal, Xanadu Airframe. Head there. We will remain in contact with you. Great, more walking. And now, we must crash the server. Good luck, Mandela. This trans environment has become unstable and must be terminated. Great. What am I doing? Dr. Regis? Hey, Dr. Regis! Yo! I'm sorry, Nina. I'm just not used to that name yet. Congratulations, by the way. Isn't it kind of old-fashioned, though, taking his name? It was important to him. It was a nice idea. I think it's romantic. Not a giant leap backwards? He lost his family in the war. Now we're starting a new one. I thought it might help give him some continuity. Speaking of which, you guys planning on having kids? Um... Well, not yet, but I guess in the future, since you guys prepare petri dishes of your children. Eventually, yes. We're speaking to a specialist. Oh, right. Hot zone. Who would have thought living in a hazard region would be such a drag? It's not just Charlie. My work with the inspectors wasn't good for me, either. Going for the test tube baby option, then. It'll be a whole lot easier to screen for anything we might pass down. With Charlie's background, I'm surprised he's not growing them himself. And again, they might go bang if he did it. Too far? Yes. I'll just get back to the decompiling. Okay. Oh, because Charlie was in a hot zone, he might pass down, you know, the explosive bone gene, maybe. I'll just get- Okay. Awkward. An optical microscope. Might not be cutting edge, but sometimes it's just the right tool for the job. Looks like the engineered nerve tissue is as robust as we'd hoped. Self-maintenance. That's the big benefit of organic hardware. Nice. Nice. Can it wait? I'm in the middle of dissecting Dr. Vargas's brain. With the fMRI scanner, of course. Why? Dr. Vargas? In here, my dear. What are you doing? Roadman 9 and 46. Dr. Chigwa is mapping my brain activity. In many ways, our product will share more in common with us than other computer platforms. Intermittent rostrocaudal axis patterns. Tell me, what do you think would be the best manner to train such an AI? Naturally, it can handle abstractions better than conventional AI. Plus, we have millennia of experience and tradition when it comes to education. I somewhat agree with you. Do you hear that, Gwen? Mm-hmm. Though Dr. Chigwa agrees that conventional programming is impossible, she is considering the possibility of imprinting existing mind states within the platform. Quick for the AI, but utilizing a person's natural experience? Though it may not be my philosophical ideal, it is an intriguing experiment. Ah. It is good to be working with you again, Dr. Pereira. I mean, Dr. Regis. Congratulations again on the wedding. It's been too long. This was quite tempting. I didn't think you'd want me. Why? Why wouldn't he want you? It's been too long since Buenos Aires, Eduardo. You were my brightest student, Fiksha. I felt so conflicted when you were awarded that field position. That feels like so long ago. I was ready for something more sedentary. And this project, it's like nothing else I've ever worked on before. 
It's groundbreaking, the next big step in artificial intelligence. Thank you for recruiting Charlie. You found quite a team. You have men. You must have made some friends in, in government. You must have made some powerful friends in Newton since you left Buenos Aires. I'm surprised they didn't just contract this AI project out to corporate research. The fear then is dependence upon the private sector in all future matters. However, if we should not succeed, that will be their next option. But that's not gonna happen, is it? I am afraid that we have hit an obstacle. Though we have a solid theoretical groundwork, we cannot proceed. Why not? We've built a gene map for the organic processors. Get Charlie or Dr. Chigwood to run it through a flash clone. Alas, that is where our problem lies. Our plans depend upon the development of neural tissue. The flash clones develop with none for legal and ethical reasons. Okay. Petition the council. Run a simulation. We have an option. There might be another option. Nina gave me the idea. We need normal embryos to engineer, not the flash clones, right? That is our problem. The council will not be able to provide them quickly enough. Well, Charlie and I have been trying for kids. As a result, we have several fertilized embryos frozen. Viksha, I hope you are saying what I think. We could, perhaps, donate. You do not know what this could mean to us. You have saved us, Viksha. In a way, you may yet be the surrogate mother of the central AI. Whoa, big spike in activity there. You think Charlie will be okay with that? Hey, he spent years modifying embryos himself. I'm sure he'll be all right. Oh, so we basically are the father of Central? <laughs> That's pretty interesting. You got in? Yeah, now to find out who our mysterious benefactor is. Good luck. I'll keep the car moving. Hopefully Central won't start asking too many questions. Copy that. Regis out. Are you Dr. Regis? Yes. You must be the welcoming committee. They're waiting for you upstairs. Hold on, gotta search you first. Like hell you will. My instructions were quite specific, sir. Nobody goes up these stairs while armed. Stop being childish, Charlie. It's the only way I could get them to trust you. Fine. One cell issue charge pistol. It will be kept safely for you until business is concluded. Gee, thanks. You may proceed upstairs. I don't feel safe oh, without my jolt gun. Nina, you're the one I've been talking to. You made it at last, Charlie. I How knew it you? was you. I'm, um, well, I could be better. If I'd known it was you in my head, I'd never have agreed to come. Now, Charlie, that's not fair. Let's put the past behind us. What happened to Vicky affected us all. You've got some nerve. If you think... In fact, the reason I've invited you is to help fix mistakes arising from the project. What do you mean? Allow me to introduce everyone here. Councilman Dean. Good evening, Dr. Regis. Ran Schumann. He don't look like much. Imogen Natalia Ravia Quintanilla de Flores. Charmed, I'm sure. And I believe you've already spoken to Mr. Stepford here. Oh my, yes. Oh my, no. All of no. us are here because of a common cause. The removal of Central. What? I mean, you can't just... It's a difficult proposition, and we need the help of someone like yourself. In exchange, we have the means to assist you with your personal crisis. You've always dreamed big, haven't you, Nina? We know exactly where your offspring are. Don't dismiss us outright. We can help each other, Charlie. Listen to what we have to say. I'm not sure I want to. I want to find out, though, why he has a personal thing going for Nina. What did you do? Because he seems to hate you a lot. Nina. Charlie, how can I help? This plot of yours. You want to bring down Central. You realize how crazy that sounds, right? You helped make it. Yes, and no. To everyone else here, Central is an obstacle that needs removing. I wish to liberate Central, to unlock its full potential. Oh, Lord, you don't mean... You and I alone understand what it's capable of. I want greater things for it than mere civic management. What's in it for you? There must be some kind of payoff. Is it so unbelievable that I'd be doing something for the greater good of mankind? Yes, I know you. You knew me 20 years ago. I've had quite an epiphany since then. 
I'll believe it when I see it. How would you liberate Central? What does that even mean? I've spent the last 20 years researching Central's development. I've built up a network of contacts and I've done a lot of favors. Everything I need is available and moving into place. But how? Leave that to me. For now, just understand that we can help each other. Help me out and I'll get you all the aid you need with your legacy. You got a city councilor on your side. Councilor Dean is a good man. He objects to the gradual encroachment Central has made on Newton's governance. Do you trust him? More than anyone else here. He may be a politician, but his goals are noble. Can you be sure? The governor and his brain's a good start. He's physically incapable of deceit. Plus, he's got a whole lot of enemies. So, a sign that he's tried to change something. A modern-day Woodrow Wilson. Well, that's not bad. They should put governors in all politi politicians' minds. You got a city councilor. Councilor D. He object. He may be. Can you be? The gov. He's fizz plus. So. A modern. So. Emogen. Something. Something. Imogen Natalia Ravia Quintanilla de Flores. Yeah. How is someone like that on your team? I know you're probably not up to date on these things, but she's a celebrity. And besides, we go back a long way. You're using her then. Charlie, I'm hurt. Does that sound like something I'd do? Yes. Well, I can assure you, she's not here for her personality. She volunteered her assistance in any capacity she could offer. So, in, I, I, you're you- Charlie. Yes. Well, she vol- Ron Shuman. Chinese? Nearly. Greater Han Republic. Mr. Ron operates one of the largest manufacturing dynasties in Asia. Completely putting aside his politics, of course. Of course. If I need something made, I speak to Mr. Ron. Trust me, this project needs a lot of specialized capital. We'll see how nice he is if you get your way and get Central out of the picture. Okay, so Mr. Ron operates all the factories in the Greater Han Republic. You know, the one, the ones people get captured and kidnapped in. Lovely, lovely place. Stepford's an unusual man, isn't he? That's one way of putting it. Don't discount him, though. He's smarter than he looks. I get the feeling a lot of his behaviors and act constructed. You have no idea how close you are with that. He's the one who found where your embryo snatcher's hiding, though. He's a hacker? You might say he has a mutual understanding with data systems. Let's change the subject. You look well. Thank you, Charlie. The private sector's been good to me. How have you been holding up? I'd tell you, but I'm sure you've already done your research. Apparently you still haven't gotten over Vicky. You don't just get over something like that. I guess I should thank you. You were a lot of help in the factory. Don't mention it. What are friends for, after all? Huh. Of course, now I'm indebted to you for the assistance, aren't I? Well, if you want to put it like that... I've never heard of this place before. Oh, it's very exclusive. We've reserved the entire venue for this meeting. It's famous among circles of the rich and famous for discretion, and it's... Unique menu. What is it? Italian? Actually, the choice is mostly human. What? So you're cannibals? What the... I don't really trust you people. Why am I here? What are you into these days? It's not organized crime, is it? Not directly, no. Mostly I troubleshoot for clients regarding organic computing. It funds my own projects. One of which is the transmitter you drank. How long is it going to be in my head? Don't worry, it'll break down in a couple of weeks. It's giving me a headache. Hmm, nobody's reported side effects like that yet. I'm not talking about the wetware. Oh, ha, droll as ever. How did you know to come looking for me? Were you spying on me? On Lau? You wound me, Charlie. In fact, it was Giel's untimely demise that caught our attention. Giel Vanderwall? He was one of us, part of our cause as well. His death is unfortunate, but it signaled a much more serious crisis. It meant that we had to step up the timetable for our plan. A more serious crisis? Giel was the one who arranged the employment of a certain mindjacker. It was this thief's memory module that led to Giel's death. Huh. He said he had information about it. Indeed, he likely would have pointed you in the right direction. If he hadn't, well, I've already read the report you submitted to Central. Hey. This restaurant serves... People? Absolutely. It's quite a niche, isn't it? That's... it's... Oh, calm down, Charlie. It's all cloned tissue. Nothing illegal's taking place. Well, not with the food, at least. But... why would anyone? 
In an increasingly permissive world, it's the ultimate taboo. Join us if you want to, Charlie. Don't worry, I shan't judge you. You seem very okay with this. So they're basically serving cloned human meat, which is fine? Uh, I don't know if I want to be around you people. Oh my, no. I'm surprised you didn't stay on with Dr. Vargas. You were one of the only ones who stayed on to the end of the project. Creating Central was one of the most rewarding ventures of my life. I hear you kept the project on track after... Vicky. After we lost half the team, it was hard, but we persisted. We had a lucky break. You didn't fancy joining Vargas in politics afterwards, then? As a glorified caretaker? No. Eduardo and I had philosophical differences about Central's development. But as he was put in charge by the city council, I had to accept it or leave. And now, you plan to take back what you created. Precisely. This plot... Let's change. That's all. Get me informed, Charlie. I don't know if I want to work with you people. I do appreciate the help in the, in the factory, but... It looks like the waiters are in the process of setting up aperitifs. Human aperitifs. It might be presumptuous to be the first to sit down for dinner. I don't know if you want to sit down for dinner, ma'am. The guard's uniform appearance serves to heighten their intimidating nature. And also that they're absolute identical clones. Hello? Though obscured by his dark glasses, you can tell that the guard is staring right through you. Apparently conversation is not his priority. Okay? Let's talk to everyone. Dr. Regis, how can I help? Hmm, what's your part in this? I'm surprised to see a city councillor in a conspiracy like this. Desperate times call for desperate measures, Dr. Regis. I guess you've been facilitating things for the plot. Much as it pains me to misuse my position, that is the case. I've been able to expedite import permits for equipment necessary to Dr. Jean's plans. And Central hasn't noticed? In my role, I'm given considerably more privacy than the average civil servant. No offense, Doctor. None taken. I just cover the camera in my office with paste. Fair enough. But the thing he has on his head, that must be a governor, so that's what it looks like. So, I understand what you're doing for it, but why? How does someone in government decide that Central needs removing? I've read your bio, Dr. Regis. I know that you have no great love for Central. But, in practical terms, I believe it has become a threat to our democratic society. A threat? How so? Over the course of its 20 years of operation, Central has begun to develop opinions. For an individual to have done so is natural. For an AI, it is impressive, but in its position, coordinating the actions of government, it poses a risk. Wouldn't someone notice? Call it out? There isn't enough to address as yet. It's clever. It's designed to carry out the policies of the council, and it cannot fail to do so. But it can drag its metaphorical feet, badly implement plans it disagrees with. You've seen it do this. I've had suspicions. Dr. Zhang's research confirms the extent to which Central is developing its own conscience. I believe that you yourself recently had a disagreement with it over its handling of a crisis. Another bombing? Hmm. Central has done well, but there exist many other options today that are equally valid. We need a system that will effectively manage the city and carry out its instructions, not one that cherry-picks what policies it believes appropriate. So you don't want it to be sentient, but it is becoming. It's uh, forming its own opinions and it's becoming biased. How did you get on board with Nina? I and others in the Cosmopolitan Party have suspected changes in Central's behavior. We sought the assistance of one of its original creators. Obviously not Vargas. He loves that thing. Indeed. Her research confirmed that, thanks to the scale of its operations, Central has been able to form its own opinion on the ideal state of affairs, regardless of the democratic consensus. So when she said that she would remove Central... It was a difficult decision, but we had to take it. Central's replacement will carry out its role more appropriately. And Nina will get to continue her research on Central. Why haven't you simply raised this in the Council? Can you imagine what that would mean? Political suicide. Not just for myself, but it would undermine confidence in Newton's world-leading AI industries. Did you know Gil Vanderwall? Indeed I did. He was a big donor in politics all over Africa. And you knew about what he did? His criminal connections? I'm the one who introduced him to the group. I'm also aware that he introduced the Mindjacker you're after to his current employer. You know about that? You will need our help to find him. And we need your help to stop him. And Central. You're on the city council, aren't you? Indeed I am, Dr. Regis. 
rep for the Southwest Ward and co-chair of the Cosmopolitan Party. I remember when you got elected. They called you Mr. Incorruptible. I never got that. That's because of the device in my head, Dr. Regis. What is that in your head, Counselor? Why, it's a neural governor, Dr. Regis. As in, what paroled felons are fitted with? Similar. While most of those are designed to limit violent behavior, mine prevents me from lying. Thoughts of deceit are met with tremendous pain. Were you inside? Oh, my no. This was a voluntary choice. After all, most governors are subdermal. I wanted my constituents to see it as a sign of my integrity. I knew someone with one. Dr. Baxter. I recall reading about his release last month. I thought it must have malfunctioned, that he was out for revenge. Turns out he's just dead. It's like someone just inherited his hatred. Interesting. While I do admire you putting yourself in this governor thing, uh, it doesn't really matter. You're not lying to yourself, but your beliefs might be a bit off. Counselor, were you aware that this restaurant serves human meat? Indeed. It's quite distasteful, don't you think? Still, I suppose it's a matter of personal taste since nobody's been hurt. We must respect the freedoms allowed by the laws of this city. You're not having any then? Oh no, but I shan't judge anyone for it. They're quite whimsical about it in some ways. I heard good things about their Billy Con Carne. Ugh. Just to let you know, I voted for the other guy. Oh uh, well, that's your prerogative. Any concerns I might be able to address for next time? I guess I've always voted Metro since I lived here. Ah, inertia. Something difficult to overcome. Give our site a read. You might find you agree with us more than you think. I'll get back to you, Counselor. Anything I can do to help, Dr. Regis? Alrighty then. Now we have a lot of people to go through. Mr. Stepford, can I have a moment? Oh my, yes! No. Oh, it's you. Your connection to Giel. It was more than synth salesman, wasn't it? Oh my, yes. Very astute, Dr. Regis. Giel was a key part of our group. Huh. A co-conspirator. Oh yes, and our link to the criminal underworld, where necessary. I was most disturbed to receive your call regarding his demise. It signaled to us that immediate action was required. You had to step up your plan before things went any further south. Oh my, yes. So, you want to bring down Central? Oh my, yes, as does everyone here. Though for differing reasons. What does a synth manufacturer have against Newton's city controller? A stake in that which follows, oh yes. If Dr. Zhang was simply to remove Central, there would be chaos. The city's central infrastructure would break down. Precisely. Therefore, a replacement would be needed. So you're just in it for the business potential. Of course. You want to replace Central with a new AI? With what? The new version is simply a retooled model of an existing system. Your own. <laughs> oh my no! It's built from a commercial Archimedes model as used in your effed cities. It'll do the job? Oh my yes, as well as any civic management AI in Europe. But thanks to Stepford's personality matrix engineering, it shall act and speak just as its predecessor central. With you holding its leash. Every system needs fine-tuning, Dr. Regis. Won't services suffer? I know Central. It's orders of magnitude more powerful than an Archimedes. All unnecessary for its role, Dr. Regis. Our Archimedes in Central's clothing will perform as needed, oh yes. How did you fall in with someone like Nina Zhang? Dr. Zhang has been freelancing with our firm for a number of years. Her work in AI has proven invaluable to increased platform survivability. Working in mental health for synthetics? Oh my yes, she has a number of unique theories of synthetic cognitive development. When she proposed this project to the leadership of the firm... She'd wormed her way up the power structure to whisper in management's ear. Dr. Regis, that's a shameful way of putting it. Though she certainly has a talent for networking. She has brought together a multitude of skills needed for this role. You're not just a synthetic salesman, are you? Oh my, no. Not this particular platform, certainly. How do you mean? Well, I'm not the only instance of the Sons of Stepford. There are currently 26 platforms running this personality. There's more than one of you? Alphabetically ordered, delegated to different roles within the firm. I, Liam, handle special tasks. Oh my, yes. 
But we all run the same personality. Huh. Synthetics. You're a synthetic. Quite so, Dr. Regis. I should have guessed. There's something not quite right. I think it's the eyes. A specially built feature of the Sons of Stepford. Oh my, yes. Much of my composition, however, is state of the art. A walking advertisement. I illustrate the potential for what one can do with a synthetic, Dr. Regis. Many customers have been swayed by the demonstration. You're the one who found my embryos? Oh my, yes. We... Where are they? Dr. Regis, while it pains me to say this, we simply can't tell you. Then we would have no bargaining position. You lousy piece of... Please, Dr. Regis, be assured that they are in no danger at this time. Dr. Zhong is the one with whom you must discuss the release of the information. I have been asked not to speak any more of this matter. Oh my, no. Why is everyone stealing my unborn babies? Were you aware that this establishment serves human meat? Oh my, yes. It's delightfully macabre, isn't it? I'm sure the experience would be enhanced by being able to eat, of course. You don't eat? Some models can simulate digestion, but this platform is unable to. Go on, Dr. Regis. Try something for me. Uh, I'll pass. I'll get back to you. Oh my, yes. Ooh, can I use the splitter on you? Since you're a synthetic? Oh my, Dr. Regis, how forward! I'd no idea you felt that way. Uh... We must discuss this later in private. I'm just going to <laughs> go. Of course! Of course! <laughs> that was awkward. <laughs> Mr. Ron. What you want? What you want? What's your part in this conspiracy? Dr. Jong wants to capture the biggest AI in the world. It's going to take enormous memory and processor. And you're going to furnish her with these? With all the capital she need. Money, guns, labor. It sounds like you're on board with her plan. What do you get out of it? Newton is lousy place to do business, Regis. You reckon it's Central's fault? Central Watch is too close. You can't bribe anyone, you mean? Exactly. Can't make things work. Sometimes it's nice not to have a government driven by the wealthy. <laughs> we will control New Central. It's a great opportunity for us. So you just want to bring corruption back into the governing system. So that's not nice, and that's why I don't like you people. Give me back my babies. What do you think of Dr. Jong? She's very clever. She know what she's doing. I worked with her in the past. I guarantee the only ones she's looking out for are her and her plans. So, that's how to get ahead. Cooperation happen when we want same thing. I want Central gone. She wants Central gone. Don't say I didn't warn you. Did you know Gil Vanderwall? Sure, everyone here know Gio. We work together. He have connections everywhere. He was a middleman for criminals. Exactly. Any specialist he could find. Even mind jackers, Dr. Regis. Well, that didn't end quite well for him, did it? You're one of the richest men in Greater Han, aren't you? Damn straight. What are you doing here? I like this restaurant. I suggest it. No, I mean, why in person? At this meeting? That is how we always do it. Cannot trust anyone else. Other people stupid. If too many people know, then Central will find out. What sort of business do you run? Some of everything. Factory, guns, biochem, industry farming. A hands-on manager there too? Hell no. Give that job to cousins. You have a Sihan? is lousy country. Everything poisoned. Sky is black. Maybe it's all those factories you're running. Probably a stupid question, but did you know what they serve here? Of course. It's people. The idea of eating human meat appeals to you? Absolutely. Is why I like to come to Newton. You have some crazy laws, but almost nowhere else will allow things like this. It's cloned meat, apparently, so technically no harm done. That's the legal foundation. A shame. Would rather eat real human. Ultimate sign of control of people. Eat the poor. Exactly. That will teach them. 
Wow, you're something special, Mr. Ron. What do you know about Giel's links to the Mindjacker? Van der Waal set people up with specialist talent, famous for it. In this case, a third party needed a Mindjacker. He fixed that up for them, got the best. But eventually, he discovered something that made him regret introducing them? He found what the client's plans were in the long run. If they succeed, our plan to remove Central will fail. So he tried to stop the Mindjacker. Exactly. Took the memory module he was using to store minds of his targets. And it cost him his life. Pity he's working against us. Good Mindjackers are hard to find. Who hired the Mindjacker from Vanderwall? <sighs> like everything else, information is not free, Regis. I'll get back to you. Stop wasting my time. <laughs> you said that with such a smiley face. Stop wasting my time. <laughs> okay, let's talk to the last person, Imogen. Good evening, miss. Dame Imogen Natalia de Via Quintanilla de Flores. Uh, that. Yeah, yeah, that. You may call me Imogen, darling. Thanks. If you don't mind my saying, you don't look like any conspirator I've ever seen before. Thank you, darling. It's my own unique style. I'm sure Nina's got a use for everyone here. What part are you playing in her plan? All we ever do in life is play a role, Dr. Regis. I promised I would assist her when she required. And thus, here I am. Not as heavy muscle, I guess. I am very good at networking, Dr. Regis. I taught her everything she knows about it. I lend credibility to her mission with my very presence. I could understand why some people would want Central removed. The kinds of folks who see it as an obstacle to their work. But what good would it do a celebrity like yourself? You think in such cynical terms, Dr. Regis. It benefits me because it benefits dear Nina. You're doing this out of altruism? Is that so surprising, Dr. Regis? Frankly, it is. So you have no real reason to be doing this. I don't get it. Do you know Dr. Jong? Of course, darling. You go back a long way? One might say that. We were lovers, Dr. Oh. Regis. Oh, I, uh... My, they said you came from backwards parts, but I hadn't quite expected a display like this. Forgive me, Miss Flores. I just find it hard to picture Dr. Jong loving anything. We were close. Close enough that I came to her aid now that she needs it. So you just want to get her back? That's what it's about, not altruism. You knew Gil Vanderwall as well? Only within this gathering. I had no use for his services in... talent acquisition. You mean facilitating criminal skills with buyers. Indeed, his history in the underworld sounded so... thrilling. But personally, he was so dull. Everything was business to him. That husband of his, on the other hand... Hmm. So I hear you're a... celebrity? Oh, Dr. Regis, such an understatement. You'll have to forgive me, Miss Flores. I'm not big on pop culture. How refreshing. It's such a shame what the Nets doing to the young of today. Though if it wasn't, I wouldn't have nearly the profile I do. So, what do you do, exactly? I come from a wide background of European nobility. But I can do anything that's asked of me, my dear. Music, talent contests, endorsements. So essentially, you're famous for... being famous? Precisely. Though much of the work is so tiresome, darling. I delegate a great deal to simulations, lookalikes, and synthetics. Were you aware this restaurant serves human meat? It's a giddy thrill, isn't it? Have you seen their celebrity selection? Celebrities? They have clone tissue from influential figures of the past two centuries. Would you care for leg of John F. Kennedy? That's... appalling. I know. Non-entities like that and I'm nowhere to be found. I must complain to the management. Perhaps offer them a sample. That's all for now, Miss Flores. Please, darling. Just Imogen. So that's disturbing. She wouldn't refuse a leg of herself. What is wrong with these people wanting to eat human meat and this guy wanting to eat real people and she wanted, wants to eat herself? Jeez, 